hey, this is calculating the volume, the mean volume, and the standard deviation on that volume of a U.S. nickel, and I'm using a graduated cylinder. So I have my graduated cylinder. I'll come up and I'll show you the markings because I'm kind of far away. So we have milliliter markings. And I filled this up to 35 milliliters exactly. So when I put in 10 nickels, I can see how much the water rises in milliliter. And one milliliter equals one centimeter cubed, or one cc. So I can just use that number. And that will be the volume of 10 nickels. I can get 10 trials. I'll be able to find the mean volume and the standard deviation on that volume. So now I'm at 35. And I should do a very good job of dropping these in so that they don't splash. If I lose a drop of water, then I didn't start at 35 milliliters. So I need to be very careful and drop these in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. So now let me read out what the water level is. I'm between, where's 40? I'm between 41 and 42, but I'm pretty close to 42. Just over halfway. So I'd write this as 42.6. So now we need to get the difference, 42.6 minus 35, at 7.6. Awesome. So we've gone up 7.6 milliliters. And there is our first trial. So that's one trial. I'm going to go 10 more times, and then we'll take a look at my data. Finish taking all my measurements. I have them in my table. I'm going to transfer this table over to Google Sheets so I can work with it. And I will see you all there. Hey, I have all the data in Google Sheets now with that corrected first trial. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I've also added a row for the one nickel volume because remember we took the data for 10 nickels. So if we have the volume of 10 nickels, we need to find the volume of one nickel. We can just divide are 10 nickels by 10. So I'm going to do that here. I'll do equals. I can click the cell and do divide by 10. And I can click enter. And that first result should pop up. Awesome. And now I can take the plus tool and I can drag it down. And I've converted all of them to um, to a single nickel volume. So now I want to find the mean oops, the mean on this volume and I want to find the standard deviation. And then I can go ahead and put my result together. So the mean will be equals average and I'll highlight my data Great, and for standard deviation, we'll do the same, but with standard deviation, and we use the, oh, don't forget the equals, and we use the dot s, because we have a sample, not the whole population. And now we want to highlight, hit enter, and there it is. All right, now we know how to get our result together. We take the first we take the first digit of the standard deviation and we round our mean to that digit as well. So let's have volume in CC equals, and we have 0 0.57, the plus or minus, and we have 0 0.06. There's our final result in CC.
for finding the volume of a U.S. nickel using a graduated cylinder. This concludes this video.